flicked off the head and just over the top of the bar. In fact, I think it actually grazed the bar from Mark Rudin. Mark Milligan's uh, absence, of course, a big blow for them, whether it be in defence or midfield. But Tony Popovich is there to marshal that back three. He wears the armband, of course, taken over from Mark Rudin. This is Bobby Petter. He's got a good solid pre-season under his belt for the first time in two years. This is Nathan Burns. Lovely work by Nathan Burns. Skips past two challenges. Alagic, 1-0 Adelaide. Brilliant stuff by the Reds. Nathan Burns creates it. Richie Alagic finishes it. Absolutely delightful football. A vision into White Craig Wall was so anxious last week to take Nathan Burns out of the calculation. Twinkle toes around the box, it's a trail of light blue shirts, and it's Richie Alagic. Nails it with his right ankle, straight into the back of the net. Brilliant stuff from the Fred Astaire of the next generation of Australian football. Absolutely glorious. Casio in the foreground, Nathan Burns, Bobby Petter, three beautiful footballers, and what a goal. We should give some credit to the finish from Richie Alagic as well. He's a fullback, remember? Very cool head. I'll have to check the records. That might well be his first goal in the Hyundai A League. So, Sydney FC shell shocked for the second time in eight days. Question is, what can they do about it? This confirmed that that is a, a debut goal in the A-League for Richie Alagic. Congratulations to him. Now he's got to do his day job. Talley hits the wall. Alagic got to surely pull back his man and a penalty kick. And Richie Alagic turns from hero to villain in the space of three minutes. He had no choice but to tug on the shirt there because he lost his man and Sydney had the spot kick. Well, Sydney FC with an immediate chance to get back on level turns, and it's Ufuk Tale who scored a penalty against Adelaide last season, who is charged with the responsibility. What a start to this game at the SFS. It's Tale against Robbie Bayic. And he saves it, but he should tap in the rebound, and he does. It's all tied up at one apiece. Unlucky for the goalkeeper, but Tele squares the ledger. I'll tell you what, well, for Tele, might you look at there, but I reckon his heartbeat just went through 300. The ball just wouldn't quite sit for him. He could feel the hot air of South Australia breathing down his neck. Robbie Bage, I thought, came off his line. It could easily be a retake, but he had a great save with his right hand. And just the ball not quite sitting. In comes Alagic to try and atone. He can't do it. Worked the triangle well, Ange Costanza. Dodd switched over from the right to the left flank and he's out muscle Robbie Middleby. Dodd tries the shot. It's side netting. Just a word on the crowd, Andy. Even if it is around 15,000, you still fancy that Sydney could get a lot more into this stadium. Especially with the likes of Janino on hands. This is Zatkovic, gets the ball into the near post. Awkward for Valkanis. Back by Bross, driven across by Steve Corica. And that's away for a throw in. I reckon Steve Corica needed a little bit of Wuffel Tele composure there. He had a bit more time. That was a heavy challenge from Sally. Good advantage played by Mark Shield. This is Janino. Real danger here for Adelaide. Alex Bross got a good stop down low by Robbie Bayic. Real promise and threat there for Sydney FC, and it came through the Brazilian. Travis Dodd. Space for Petter. Slides it through. Shoots a real chance. Bolton came and he was helped out by his defence. Bruce Schutte, such a threat, wins a corner for Adelaide. And it's a fantastic sequence of constructed football from Adelaide. They're a joy to watch. Certainly are a series of rapier-like thrusts. 
into Sydney territory. Here's the corner. It was above Courtway. Great save off Nathan Birds by Clint Bolton. And it'll be another corner. Well, he plays for Adelaide, but he's from Blaney in New South Wales, out of the New South Wales Institute of Sport, one that got through the locals' net. And isn't he causing them some grief? Good save from Bolton. again, throw in taken quickly, Corica alert, Janino makes a little darting run, in behind Alex Brosk, half a challenge by Michael Valtenis, and eventually it's off the shins of Bayic and behind for a corner, and Bayic is furious with his defence. Well, from Tele from the right-hand side. Was uh, rude and trying to attack it. Costanzo got there first. Burns sets it back. Alakic will clear. Dodd flicks it on, and Bruce Jete's got away from Tony Popovic. Jete one on one. Oh, he's got a bit wide. Jete off the line and behind for a corner. And Adelaide so close to restoring their lead. Rolled in towards Brosk. Holds it up well, little one-two, Alex Brosk! Well, he rather dragged the shot, but it was much more positive from Alex Brosk, who, in all honesty, needs a goal.